different cheeses, different cultures are added to the milk. But that's not all. Each culture also has its own way of being handled to make a different food. It is in this way that cheese making can be as much as an art form as it is just a process. The cheese maker takes a sample of the milk and tests the pH balance. pH balance refers to how acidic the cheese is. Finding the right pH balance is crucial to the cheese maker as it affects the cheese's texture such as hardness and springiness. At this point, the starter culture is added as well as the rennet. Once the curds form, the cheesemaker then inserts metal wire knives into the curd to cut the cheese and help separate the curds from the whey. This process continues until the curd has formed into solid little pieces that have a rubbery texture. The excess whey is drained from the curd and now the curds are ready to be put into molds. All right, are you guys ready for the last and final round? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. <clears throat> Player number three, come on up. Okay, round number four, we're going to talk about cheese. Are you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Question number one, true or false? All cheese starts with the same three basic steps. Red team. Um. True. True, very good. Red team gets five points. <clears throat> Player number one, come on up. Number two, when cheese is being made, it separates into two parts. The liquid part is called the whey, and the solid part is called the what? Red team. Carrot. Very good. Red team gets five more points. Player number two, come on up. Number three, milk is tested for acidity. This is an option question, okay? Or the pH balance, because this will determine the cheese is what? Such as springiness or firmness. It's A, color, B, taste, or C, texture. Red team. Texture. Texture, very good. The red team gets five more points. Question number four, come on up. Player number three. Number four, true or false? If milk is left alone long enough, it will turn into cheese without anything being added. Um, true. No, that's false. Oh. Okay, you guys can go back and sit down. Now are you guys ready for a fun challenge to end the day? All right, come on, let's go. for a Hold the Cheese Olympics? Yeah! All right, on your marks, get set, go! Go, pop, 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 there you go. Come back, good job! All right, get ready to leapfrog, leapfrog! Go ahead, go! There you go, good job! Go, 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 good job! points. 
the red team won today. Yeah! Did you guys have an utterly great time? Yeah! All right, thank you so much for playing the Utterly Amazing Cow Game Show. Yeah! Today's game was a lot of fun. It showed us just how much we've learned about cows. We hope that you've gained a greater appreciation for the animal that lives in the background of our society. It's also one of the few creatures that has helped humans get to where they are today. So let's all say thanks to the utterly amazing cow. Every day is extraordinary at Fair Oaks Farms. With 32,000 cows, Fair Oaks Farms is a real working dairy farm. One of the largest in the USA. Take a bus tour and see the cows being milked. See a calf being born. See cheese and ice cream being made right before your eyes. Learn all there is to know about a dairy farm from our animated characters and a fun 3D, 4D movie. You'll lose yourself in this wonderful world that's so close to home. Make your plans to visit us today. Fair Oaks Farms, every day extraordinary. I've been our friend all through time How I love the sweet bovine And when you're cooking, it needs dipping Thank a cow for the milk it's given It's the utterly amazing Oh, the utterly amazing It's the utterly amazing cow It's the utterly amazing Oh, the utterly amazing Customer service, I guess basically that's what it all boils down to, is working with the customers, you know, giving them and, be, and being friendly with them, you know, and as long as we treat them like that, I think they'll keep coming back.